What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Yeah, this video is about uh, me using Android 16 Beta 1. Android 16 Beta 1 on my Google Pixel 8a, which I got on T Mobile. So, shout out T Mobile. Uh, you know, let me get this phone for free. <laughs> and I'm on the beta for free. All right. So, what did I find out about Android 16 Beta 1? Has there been any more improvements? Has there been any more uh, bugs? Has there been more fixes? Um, any issues, real world issues? Uh, we're going to get into all that today in this video. So, no further ado, I want to talk about the battery life. It seems like the battery life has gotten gotten a little better um as far as me personally i haven't caught myself charging it as much lately as of lately or um even while i was using it or not using it um the battery does idle pretty good the battery does idle pretty good now so i think whatever google uh, figured it out on the google pixel 88 as far as the 88 situation um they fixed that, the, the idling part. Uh, we also got a new feature, uh, the the count cycle. So when you go through the settings, and we can go in there real quick. You go through the settings, let's just type in settings. And then you go to about phone. Then you're gonna go to, uh, you're gonna find, uh, let me see where is that. I'm gonna okay, no, not device name. You're gonna go find battery information. It says count cycle. Now I must remind you, it was manufacture date March 26, right after my birthday, in 2024. Right, I've purchased the phone and first used it September 26, 2024, which was six months later. But it said 111 cycle counts, which I don't think that's real. But um, they do have down at the bottom, due to quality inspections before shipping, the cycle count may not be zero on first use. So I, I, I never paid attention to it, but according to Google and according to the settings, that's what it said. Um, so let's just get that out the way. Um, now I've, I've did see some reports online. I don't know if it was particularly for the pixel 8, 8, but reports online said that, uh, people were having issues with the Google home service. And I got my Google home app set up in Android 16, um, developer, uh, preview or beta one preview. Um, I, I'm not, at one. <laughs> I, I'm not sure which one this is. I think it's the, the main preview because they're pushing out Android 16 quickly okay so but as far as i know um i've been using the google home app setting it up everything like that um my devices activities um things of that sort um i haven't had any like day-to-day -day issues or real world issues as far as using the google home app so uh, for anybody on android 16 beta 1 Using the Google Pixel 8, 8 or Google Pixel 8 or Google Pixel 9. Y'all give me y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Y'all let me know what issues have y'all been seeing or been reporting to Google and online about Google Home service and application um, not properly working and you having issues uh, on Android 16 Beta 1. All right. So... Um, another thing is, uh, let, let's just get into the Easter egg. I dropped a short earlier today, um, about the Easter egg. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what do you guys think about it? What are your thoughts on the Easter egg? Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, maybe, yeah, I should have just did that and then go to, okay. Now, as you can see, it don't say Android 16. It just says, Buckleva, whatever that means. But anyway, we're gonna tap on it. Uh, okay, so we're gonna tap on it. It does show you Android 16 there in the Easter egg. 
But now I'm gonna hold it down, and you're gonna see it speed up. So it's speeding up. There you go. All right, so here we are. This is the Easter egg. It's interesting. You know, you got your little codes at the top. My bad. Sorry for the camera. Got the codes at the top. You got codes at the bottom. So, yeah, and then you just move it to any direction you want to. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay? So, it's, I mean, I, well, I mean, what, where would you guys put the Easter egg Android 16 beta? Where would you put the Easter egg? I mean, it's something to do. It's free. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> We're going to get that over with. And uh, let me see. The volume rocker. So uh, apparently there was supposed to be some changes in the volume panel. So let's just go there real quick. I'm going to put it down. All right, so me personally, I, I don't see any really drastic changes unless it's in the settings. Me personally, I don't see anything uh, different in the volume rocker panels. I mean, it looks like it's moving fast. I, I'm not sure. If you found something different um, in the new update, y'all let me know. All right, so volume rocker. Okay, VPN. Somebody uh, uh, questioned me. Um, I don't know if it was just in dramatic. They're going to take away the VPN. They're going to take away the VPN. Well, as you can see, in Android 16 Beta 1, on my Google Pixel 8a, VPN still there. I got it on, as a matter of fact. And you see some other icons at the top, vibration. Um, and a card. All right, so VPN is still free on your Google Pixel, even on the Android 16 Beta 1. Let's just get it out of the way. All right, so we got that going on. We got that going on. Gemini, let's talk about Gemini. So this is another way you, you can pull up Gemini. You swipe this way. My bad. Um, it's like from the corner. So yeah, there you go. And there goes Gemini. Show me Gemini. And look. So, you do get the latest Gemini. As you can see. So, just a second. Gemini is Google's most advanced AI model yet. Capable of a wide range of tasks like generating text, translating languages, writing different kinds of creative content, and answering your questions in an informative way. Here are some key features of Gemini. Versatility. Gemini can perform a variety of tasks, making it a powerful and flexible tool. Large and capable. It's designed for highly complex tasks, showcasing Google's cutting-edge AI research. Efficiency. Gemini is optimized to run efficiently across different devices and platforms. You can learn more about Gemini on the official Google blog, linked to Google. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. And there you have Gemini in a nutshell. <laughs> All right. All right. So also, I want to talk to you guys about this message I've gotten from T-Mobile. All right. And this is about a week ago, literally. Again, another week, another week with updates, another week with software program, beta programs, everything. Your boy Two Phones for Free has been giving you the latest and exclusives and inclusives. Anyways. So I got this message. I did sign up. I did sign up to Starlink. Shout out to Team Over Starlink. I did sign up, I think by maybe a week and a half ago. I did a screenshot, show people like, yeah, I signed up. So and then I did I did this and then this came through. So here we go. It says T-Mobile. It says thanks for your interest in T-Mobile Starlink. All right, beta. To ensure the best possible experience and service reliability, we're optimizing, we're optimizing T-Mobile Starlink beta. For newer smartphones, uh, parentheses, majority released in the last two years, close parentheses. More devices will be optimized over time. So please stay tuned, find out more information. So this is evidently that the Pixel 8a qualifies as a Starlink smartphone. Well, now what does that mean? That means like if you're out in the wilderness, you're out in uh, the dead zones, basically. 
the dead zones of the world. And that's how you see my background. I love this wallpaper. It's, it's built into the Google Pixel wallpaper style. All right, and this is live. Like this is a live wallpaper. Like if you pay attention closely, you see it, the earth rotating. It, it's, it's rotating. You see the, the lights are blinking. This is crazy. Google is on another level. Anyway, okay, so the satellites, and there's 6,000 of them, maybe more, maybe 10,000, all right? Hey, don't quote me. Just quote the messenger. Anyways, oh, um, so this is the crazy thing, right? So if you out in the wilderness and you lose signal, and I got four bars, bars, you lose signal, um, Starlink will like kick in. Basically, you lose signal, and it's for emergency usage only. For emergency usage only, to text message, to receive text message, and that's about it. That's all it, that that's all it's gonna do for you. Um, as of now, because it's beta, Starlink beta. Again, salute to the beta squad. Shout to the beta squad. Y'all, let me know y'all thoughts. But that's only if you're in the wilderness or you're in a dead zone and the, the coverage map is T-Mobile is dead, basically. Or you lose signal, you lose service. That's when Starlink kicks in on your phone, but you have to sign up as of right now. You have to sign up for it. And that's what I forgot to uh, put on this second screen. I forgot to put on that website. So uh, let me go put up that website, T-Mobile. T-Mobile and Starlink. I'm going to do it again. I already did it in my last video, but um, so let's let's just go ahead look it up. Starlink. All right, T-Mobile, Starlink. Uh, let's, let's see. So here we go. You're going to click on that. And this is what the real website, this is what the official website going to look like. Uh, they're going to say register now, as you can see. Uh, you could you could chat um, chat with them. Okay, we got um, satellites launched 330 and counting between T-Mobile and Starlink. Okay, we partnered with Starlink on a mission to eliminate dead zones, like I said, for cell phone uh, with the largest satellite to sell uh, constellation um, in the world. So here we go, and just go to the website. I'll leave a link in the description box. Sign up. If you're on T-Mobile and you got to be on a postpaid, no prepaid, no Metro booming, no, no, no Mint Mobile, no Google Fi. As of now, I think this will be very useful for those on Google Fi, a U.S. Uh, mobile, and U.S. mobile customers. I think Google Fi and U.S. mobile customers will, will be mad gladly for this, but that's just that. All right, and then also for those with a Pixel, a Google Pixel, Game, game check out android beta website and um uh, go ahead and sign up it's free like i said but they got to make sure your devices are eligible and it's mainly pixel i say pixel 7 pixel 6 on up pixel 6 pixel 7 all the way to the pixel folds you are more than qualified for android betas all right so just check it out. Go to AndroidBeta.com. Get on the list. All right. <laughs> but <laughs> here's the thing. Again, like I want to I want to point this out before I end this video. I want to point this out. The comparisons of the Pixel 8, Pixel 9. It's to be honest, it's in between 100 and 150 dollars difference, maybe 200 dollars difference between all of them. If you can't get any deals as far as now they're saying T-Mobile saying Google Pixel 9 Pro XL on us. I wish I seen that sooner or whatever like that. Um, so it's you know T-Mobile's weird with their qualifications. They all weird, all right. But I'm just saying, you want to beat the bush? Look online for the best deals for the carriers to get you a, a good deal on a Google Pixel. All right, it's just I'm just talking Pixel only. Okay, and you can check Google website. You can check Google.